Hello and welcome back to this series on Latin NLP with Python. Now in the last video we looked at the Collatinus Decliner and we created a very basic function that allowed us to decline any number of words and it returned a dictionary that was a dictionary that had a key of an individual word and it returned also a value of that fully declined. Uh, that word, and it could have also a conjugated verb, so we'd use coquito and puer and via. In this video, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to create a, uh, a function now that allows for us to limitize a word. If you remember in the last video, when we tried to actually run via, do it right now for you, we ended up returning an error, and this error was a, a lemma error. And the reason why we had a lemma error was because we were working with an accusative and not a nominative. So we weren't using using the root form of the word. What limitization allows you to do is to identify the root of a word. And then once you have that root, now you can decline it. So let's go ahead and make a function that will automatically use CLTK and the built-in back off limitizer to find a word's root, whether it be a noun or a verb. So let's go ahead and create a function. We're going to call it lemma, and we're going to take in one argument. Now we're going to pass in this argument tokens. You can name this whatever you want. I'm picking tokens right now instead of words because of what we're going to see happen in two more videos when we start dealing with tokenization. And eventually in video 11, we're going to deal with word tokenization. And word tokenization is the segmentation of a text into individual words. So in the future, we're going to pass t tokens, not words, into this function. And when it comes time to explain tokens, I will deal with them in a bit more detail. For right now, just understand that tokens is equivalent to words, but a little different. So we're going to pass in this argument of tokens. And we're going to just use the standard documentation method for doing this. We're going to create a limitizer, and we're going to make that equal to back off Latin limitizer. And in order to actually have this import correctly, we need to actually import it. So we're going to say from mlcltk.limitize.latin.back off import back off Latin limitizer. Um, this is the new way of doing it as of, I think, 2019 or 2020. The other way is with another limitizer that's being depreciated because it's not as uh, good as this one, which uses a different algorithm and method for finding the lemma of words. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say tokens is equal to limitizers. We're going to call this limitizer object, and we're going to call the limitize method. And that's going to pass in tokens. And that's going to take a entire list of tokens and automatically find the roots for us. So let's go ahead and just return tokens. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. So we're going to say tokens is going to be equal to, let's just create a list. Let's say now toss, so sailors, and we're going to say vian, so accusative of path or road, whatever. And let's just say puer, so boy. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, new is going to be equal to lemma tokens. And we're going to simply print off tokens. And when we do this, it's thinking right now, you'll see that it goes through and it actually returns for us a list of tokens. What has happened here? Ah, I see what I've done. I've foolishly named this the same as that. So I need to, to print off new. There we go. And now we have a returned tuple. So each this is a list of tuples. And within each tuple, we see the first index. So index zero is going to be our original word, our original token. And the second value is going to be our limitized version. So index one is the limitized version of the word and index zero is the original form. And if you see, we have nautas converted to nauta, viam converted to via, puer converted to 
where because that's already the lemma. And let's pass in just for fun, Kogitas. Uh, and you see we go from Kogitas to Kogito. We can do this all the way with anything you could possibly think of. So Eras. And it should give a zoom, and it does. Fantastic. So this is how you limitize both nouns and verbs. Now, now that we have their root, we can control this output. So let's say we want to now go through and decline each of these words. If you remember, in the last video, we couldn't do that. So what we're going to do here, and the reason why we couldn't do that was because we didn't have the roots for viam. Now that we do, let's go ahead and create a very simple for loop. So we're going to say for item and new, uh, let's just print off item. We're going to call the index one, just so you can kind of see what's happening. And we have zoom via puer. So what it's done, it's gone through each of those tuples, and it simply grabbed the first index, so the second position in that tuple. Now we can call our deck words and simply create a new list of these tuples. So we can do something like this. We can say, uh, let's just say L1, just to make it simple. And we're going to say L1.append. And I'm, again, doing this manually, not the more uh, succinct Pythonic way, just so you can kind of see each step of this code. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, words is going to be equal to, uh, we're going to say, what, what was the name of the function up here? Deck, deck L1. So we're going to pass in this new list. Let me go ahead and just kind of show you what this new list looks like as we do this. So it'll be a list of all of the lemmatized forms. And now what we're going to do is print off words. And what you're going to see is that we're able to go through take these tokens, which were in accusative form, in a second person form, in other words, they were not in their root form, create them into tokens, or uh, convert them from their token state, return them as their limitized form, and then go through with a simple for loop and iterate across them and find the root. And that's going to be how we do this in a later video when we start looking at word tokenization to iterate across an entire text. That's going to be it for this video, though. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the macronizer so that you can kind of start seeing how to work with macrons in CLDK. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down below.